Alright folks, so what we have here is a Battle Horse Knives Frontier Valley Knife. And uh, we're going to talk about this a little bit. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how it uh, came to be in my possession. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the knife and its characteristics. But before we do that, you should go ahead and grab yourself a nice cold Miller Lite or whatever beverage you choose. Come on back and we'll get started. So let's go ahead and talk about this knife a little bit. And I want to give you some history on this knife and the knife maker. And uh, this is a Battle Horse knife. And um, Battle Horse knife is an outcoming of the split of Blind Horse knives. Uh, Blind Horse knives was owned by the guy who runs Battle Horse and LT Wright, who runs LT Wright Customs today. They split a few years ago, and there has been some... Uh, some blades that they made when they were together that uh, they've made separately, like the Bushcrafter, for example. Both both companies make a Bushcrafter today, true to its original design. And I'm not sure where this knife falls on that list. I've seen these by Blind Horse Knife, by Battle Horse Knife, and by LT Wright Customs. And there's a few different configurations you can get on this knife. This is a Scandi grind. They have a saber grind and a full flat ground uh, knife. And I've also seen these with and without the lanyard hole. Some quick specs. The spine is 1 8 inch 01 tool steel. The overall length is 6 inches and 5 8 so it's about 6.5 inches long. And then the cutting edge is 2, uh, is two inches and 5 8 So it's a relatively small knife. And I happened to be at a gun show last weekend, and uh, there's a guy there that um, sells. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a reseller for Blind Horse Knives, Battle Horse Knives, and LT Wright Knives. And he also sells like uh, knife sharpening systems by WorkSharp and by, um, shit, I can't remember the other one. But that's okay, so it's, it's not important to the story. But I always stop, stop by and talk to this guy a little bit and uh, see what he's got going on. He, he only has about 7 to 10 knives on his table, not a whole lot. And he had a variety of um, LT Wright Blind Horse and Battle Horse knives this time. And I picked this one up, and I swear it felt like I was putting my foot in Cinderella's slipper. This knife just fits my hand perfectly. I couldn't couldn't believe how well it fit in my hand. And uh, he had a couple other knives. He had some that were made out of uh, saw blade steel from old, old saw blades that uh, the guy at uh, Battle Horse Knives had found. And uh, they looked really cool, but they didn't feel as good in the hand as this one. And I really didn't know which knife I wanted and which one I wanted to buy. Um, I was like, you know, when I'm talking to the fellers, it sure would be nice to be like, this here knife's made out of saw blade steel. But uh, I just couldn't get over how well this, this fit in my hand. But what happened was is that uh, I left. I said, hey, I'll come back. You know, let me think about it while I'm at the gun show. I'll come back. You know, I started looking at other stuff, and one of my buddies was going to buy a shotgun, and I'm getting all worked up over that. And uh, we went and stopped and saw the jerky guy, and we went, and, and uh, they have a pit beef guy down there. We can get a sandwich, and we got the sandwich, and, uh, and we left. I, f I totally forgot all about it. And then uh, I get home, and uh, Mrs. Smoking Ape says to me, Hey, did you get anything? And I'm like, shit, I forgot to, I forgot to buy that knife. And uh, this one's a little beat up. I mean, you can take a look at it, and you can see there's some markings on the blade there. And then on this side, you can actually see some spots and some discoloration. And there were some some goobers on the back of this blade uh, that I had to clean off. And uh, you know, I said I'm going to just go home and I'm going to look these up on the internet, and I'm sure I can find one somewhere. And uh, you know, I I didn't want the saber grind. I, I wanted either Scandi. Uh, which this one is because you have more stability because you have more material at the top of the blade. Or flat ground because it's a smaller knife that I probably will EDC. Uh, you know, it's like maybe a little slicer action would be a little better if I could pick up a uh, full flat ground. And uh, so I googled this knife, the uh, the Frontier Valley by Blind Horse Knives. And uh, as I do that, I am you know, find a bunch of websites. I go to Blind Horse and, or Battle Horse Knives. I go to LT Wright. And they're, they're sold out everywhere. I can't find them. And uh, they're back ordered. They say they're going to take a few months. And, and I'm starting to wonder, you know, maybe this was a design that they both agreed to make for a period of time and then stopped making. I, I don't know what, what what's up with this. And uh, as I'm going through the list of, of shops that I Googled, it turns out that uh, I found the website for the guy who was at the gun show. And so I, I, I sent him a message. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I, I want to get that knife. I want to buy it from you. So I got it. He sold it to me, same price that I would have paid if I bought it at the gun show. 
uh, like I, I call this a floor model. It's got some marks on it. It came in the mail today. This is the sheath, and uh, like b blind horse, battle horse knives, it's a nice leather sheath. There's there's nothing wrong with this. It's a small sheath, and uh, you know this would go on a smaller belt. You know, I typically like this to be a something that can accommodate a belt up to like an inch and three quarters or two inch belt. And uh, it very well made, nice nice leather work, nice nice stitching, nice weld. Everything on it is pretty good. It is a uh, right-handed sheath, and I am a lefty. I'm not sure that's a big issue for me. Um, you know, I could carry this reverse style on the left-handed side with a lanyard in here. I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I do dabble somewhat unsuccessfully in leather work, so maybe I could make a left-handed sheath or something like that. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not, and I'm not going to get a Kydex sheath for this. I'll, I'll figure something out. But um, it has these natural polished, or the natural micarta scales that that are polished. It's just, it's just beautiful. I love this knife. Like I said, it feels perfect in my hand. I, I, I can't. I, it's, it's one of the most comfortable knives that I've ever held. So I just wanted to do a quick video, quick show and tell, throw it out there for you guys. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you will see this again in future videos. And uh, maybe I will do some uh, some hard use batoning with it. Thanks, everybody.